One thing's for certain, whether you're doing experiments in a laboratory or at home, always be certain to wear a pair of safety glasses. We're dealing with some chemicals that you can find around your house, but if splashed in your eye, can take your eyesight for the rest of your life. Always be safe. Treat your eyesight as something important to you and wear a pair of safety glasses at all times when performing any experiment. It's even a good idea when doing cleaning or routine household chores. If you're working with chemicals, be certain to wear safety goggles. All right, these are some of the household items you could use to do an acid or base test with your red cabbage indicator. For example, over here we have some vinegar. Uh, I've chosen a clear vinegar to make uh, the reaction more noticeable. We've got ammonia. Got some seltzer water here. This one's uh, sodium free. We've got some orange juice. We've got baking soda. A little bit of uh, cola here. You could use diet or regular cola. Got cream of tartar, a lemon, and some uh, food items such as a uh, chunky salsa, or we can use some apple juice. And these are items that children are uh, used to seeing and are familiar with, and will give them a good way of uh, identifying what might be an acid or a base. Alright, now all that you have to do to test is take a little bit of indicator and pour a little bit of your fluid into your container. You can see here, it turned a nice shade of red. And if we compare that to the results we had before, you know that our lemons here are going to be acid. Let's test a little bit of the cream of tartar. This is an ingredient used in baking and cooking. I'm just going to take a little bit of this, dump it in our solution, and stir. And you can see that we've turned a shade of red, not as deep red as we had with the lemon, but we definitely did turn red, so we can identify cream of tartar as an acid. Okay, let's test a little bit of the cola here. We've got some soda here. I'm just going to pour it right in and stir. Now what's hard is these these fluids that are colored are kind of hard to see and this is a little hard to see, but there is a slight tinge of red now to my soda, and that would indicate that my soda is an acid. Let's test some of the baking soda now. What we're going to do is take a spoon out and dump it in. And stir. And it's a little hard to see, but we've turned a nice shade of turquoise, indicating that we've got uh, a base in our baking soda. Now, though, another way to do this is to take a sheet of paper and compare it against the sheet of paper. And now you can pick up a little bit more of the color there than before. Alright, so we've tested our lemon. We know that's an acid. We've tested our cream of tartar. We know that's an acid. We've tested our soda. And we know that's acidic. And we've tested our baking soda. And we know that's basic. Let's test some of the items in the back row. 
Let's start with our apple juice. Here we have a popular brand of apple juice. We're just going to pour it right in and swirl. And you see a nice tinge of red, which indicates that our apple juice is acidic. Now let's test our paste picante sauce. I'm just going to open it up, take a little bit out. We want to get some of the juice and dump it in. And we're going to swirl. Ooh, and it's turned a tinge of red. It's not as red as with our uh, lemons, but it's definitely a tinge of red, which indicates that our paste picante sauce is acidic. Let's test our white wine vinegar here. Pour just a little bit in. And you can see we're definitely red, very acidic. It's time to test our ammonia. Let's take a little bit now. You gotta be careful with ammonia. You can see that we've turned a green color. This is a definite green compared to what we've had before. We've had like a turquoise, but this deep green indicates a very strong base. Let's try our seltzer water now. see our seltzer water has turned our indicator red which indicates this is an acidic solution. Alright we're pretty much down to it now. Let's test our orange juice. And you can see it's turned our solution red, which indicates orange juice is acidic.